simple interest is very simple and compound interest is very complex well this is the most common misconception about this topic among the students who are preparing for competitive exams well in this video let us try to prove it wrong hi i'm abhilash verma welcome to learn online so in this video we will learn everything about simple interest and compound interest and their mechanisms well if you have already watched our videos of percentages and profit and loss you then you're not learning any new concept in this video well it is just a same topic as profit and loss with a different terminology and with a very similar mechanism also now let me explain you the mechanism of the simple interest and compound interest to start with let us first understand what exactly this interest is well this is just a business transaction between two people they are one is lender and the other one is borrower now what happens here is lender gives a certain money to the borrower and we call that money as principal now after certain period of time borrower returns back the money to the lender and what he has taken from the lender now along with the principal he will give some extra money and we call it as interest so together these two are called amount well the question arises here why is borrower paying that extra money well this is just nothing but your house rent see when you rent a house every month you pay rent to the owner now why do you pay that because you are utilizing the resources of the owner so for that you are going to pay some rent every month likewise the principal money what the borrower has taken from lender that is a resource of the lender so for using it borrower will pay a rent which we call it as interest so that is the extra money paid by the borrower to the lender well i told you this is no different from profit and loss let me show that to you in this case lender is a businessman who invested in a business that investment we call it as principal here well in profit and loss it was our cost price now the lender receives his investment which is cost price along with that he will make some profit in the transaction that is interest which is also same as a profit so together cost price and profit is equal to selling price which is same as a amount now the only difference here is in profit and loss we have both a profit and a loss but in simple interest and compound interest we have a profit which is also nothing but interest but here we don't have a concept of loss so in this case the same profit or the interest is calculated in two different ways which we call them as a simple interest and compound interest so let us understand each of them individually now let us first understand what is simple interest and its mechanism well i'd like to explain that with a simple example here we have a different terminology t is nothing but a time period the amount of time for which borrower has taken money from the lender and p is the principal or the investment of the lender r percent per annum is the rate of interest per annum which is also nothing but your profit percent in profit and loss well si is the interest simple interest or the profit amount you already know that and what is ti and tip that you will understand in another couple of minutes now let us say you are the lender and i am the borrower now i have taken money from from you uh, let us call it as rupees 100 well let us discuss a transaction for time period of 3 years in the first year i have taken rupees 100 from you now you say that i have to pay 10% interest per annum so rate of interest per annum is a 10% well now i have to pay 10% interest means a 10% of principal like in profit and loss profit percent is always some percentage of cost price here interest is also some percentage of principal so 10% of 100 is nothing but rupees 10 now at the end of first year if i have to return the money to you 
I have to return 100 rupees what I have taken from you along with that interest 10 rupees. So all together 110. Well, if I have plans of continuing for the second year as well, then what you will do is you will again apply interest of 10% on same principle 100 rupees. So this is the main point in the simple interest that every year the rate of interest is always applied on the same principle. Now again in the second year 10% of 100 I will pay you as interest which is rupees 10. Now at the end of first year I already already owe you 110 rupees. Now again Again, 10 rupees interest in the second year altogether. Now I have to return back 120 rupees. Well, if I want to continue for another year, again, third year, you'll apply interest on 100 rupees, which is 10%. 10% of 100 is again 10 rupees. Now, at the end of the second year, I owe you 120 rupees. Now, 10 rupees extra interest in third year. So, altogether, at the end of third year, if I want to return, I have to return 130 rupees. Well, during your school days or even during your college, you always used to calculate simple interest using the formula. That is SI is equals to PTR by 100, right? So this is the very commonly used formula among the students. But in this video, I won't be using that PTR by 100. Rather, I'll give you a direct method to calculate the interest. So this is where our new terms so TI and TIP comes into picture. Well, TI is nothing but total interest that I will pay you and TIP is nothing but total interest in terms of percentage total interest percentage so let us understand how exactly it works now in the first year I paid you rupees 10 as interest so for one year total interest is rupees 10 well in the second year as well I paid you rupees interest uh, I paid you interest as rupees 10, but for two years, I paid you 20 rupees. Now in the third year, again, I paid you rupees 10 as interest, but for three years, I paid interest as rupees 30. So this is the total interest for three years, for two years and for one year. Now, TIP, total interest percentage. Now, if you see this 10 rupees, 10 rupees is a 10% of 100. So total interest percent is a 10% of principal. Now again for 2 years if you see 20 rupees I paid which is a 20% of 100. So TIP for 2 years is a 20% of principal. Likewise 30 rupees will be 30% of the principal. If it is for 4 years it will be 40% of principal. And if it is 5 years it will be 5% of principal. So let us work little more on this with the different numbers now. Well, this is not 5% of the principal, but 50% of the principal. Now, let us see with the different values. Suppose if I consider R percent per annum and let's say that is rate of interest and time and then we shall calculate TIP. Now, suppose if I tell you rate of interest per annum is 5%, then Time is, let's say, 6 years. So, what does it mean? Every year you pay 5% of principal as interest. That is 5%, 5%, 5% like this. For 6 years, 5 into 6, that should become 30% of the principal, which is your TIP. Suppose if I say 8% per annum. Suppose a uh, time period, if I take it as a 12 years, then 12 8, 96% of the principal you pay as TIP that is total interest percentage. Suppose if I take a 7% per annum for 5 years. So 7 fives, 35% of the principal is the overall total interest percentage. So how we are calculating our TIP? TIP can be calculated as rate of interest into time period. Now this simple formula is going to simplify the problem solving of simple interest and compound interest like anything. So let us see how we can apply the same strategy in solving the problems. A first example goes like this. Suppose if I say the principal is rupees 15,000 and rate of interest is let's say 10% per annum 
and time is three years. So let us calculate what should be the interest and what should be the amount. Now, if you want to calculate the interest first, SI is equals to, we know that 10% per annum for three, three years. What should be our TIP? That is 30% of principal. What is principal? 15,000. So directly calculate what is 30% of 15,000 and that should be our answer. 10% is 1,500. 30% means 10% into 3, that is 1500 into 3 should give us 4500 rupees. Now that is our simple interest. Well, if you want to calculate amount as well. So what is amount principal plus interest? So that is 1500 plus 4500, that is 19,500. Now, should I calculate interest to calculate the amount? No, if you want, you can directly calculate using the TIP only. Well, you know that amount is equals to principal plus interest, right? Now, in this case, interest is 30% of the principal. So, amount is principal means I can write it as 100% of principal from percentages concept where X can also be written as 100% of X plus our interest. What is interest here? TIP is 30% of the principal. So I can write it as 30% of P. So altogether, what is amount? Amount is 130% of principal. So if you calculate this, even this will give you the same answer. That is 130 by 100 of 15,000. So if you cancel this, I can cancel double zero, double zero. So if I multiply 15 into 10, 150, 15 into 3, uh, 45, that is 195 and extra 1, 2, two zeros. So with this single equation, we can actually directly calculate the amount as well if you know how to play with our TIP. Now, let us take one more example so that you'll understand it better. Suppose if I say a principle is... 12,000 rupees and let's say uh, rate of interest as 8% per annum and the time period is 4 years and well, we shall calculate both simple interest as well as amount. Now originally simple interest we know that we have to use our TIP 8% per annum for 4 years that should be 32% of Principal. What is principal? 12,000. So, if you calculate this, you can calculate it as 32 by 100 of 12,000. So, if I cancel these two zeros, let us multiply. This is 32 into 10, 320. 32 into 2 is 64. That should give us 384 and we are left with 10. So, rupees 384 is our 3840 is our simple interest in this case. Now, if you want amount in this case, what happens? We know that interest is 32% of the principal. Means amount is 32% more than the principal. So, I can directly write my amount as 132% of principal that is 12,000. Once again, so I won't be writing again and again divided by 100. Directly, we can cancel percentage but divide two zeros because anyways percentage means divide by 100 so two zeros two zeros gets cancelled so if we <coughs> multiply what do we get 12 tens that is 120 plus uh, this uh, 1200 plus 360 that is 1560 plus 24 1584 and we are left with one zero so this is the actual amount by using the tip what if i reverse the same question for you like I'll give you amount which is same as this that is 19,500 and I'll give you rate as same 10% per annum and time as 3 years. Well now I'll ask you to calculate principal. Well you know that principal is nothing but cost price in profit and loss. So what was the method we used to calculate Cost price and profit and loss, relationship between selling price and cost price. Likewise, here we have to create a relationship between amount and the principal. Let us see how we can do that. Now, if you see the TIP, 10% per annum for 3 years, it is 30%. So, it means our amount is 
30% more than the principal. So I can write the relationship as amount is equals to 130% of principal. So what is the amount given here? 19,500. 130% means 130 by 100 of principal. So if we cancel the terms here, 0, 0, 13 ones, 13, 13 fives, 65, 1 extra 0. 150 into 100 should give us 15,000 and that must be our principal. If you see here as well, the principal was 15,000. So what we are doing here to calculate the principal as well as to calculate the amount, you can always use relationship between principal and the amount. Suppose if I modify the same question again, like I'll give you principal which was 15,000 and I'll give you time as 3 years. Now I'll tell you simple interest for 3 years is equals to 4,500. Now I want you to calculate what is rate of interest. Now you can apply PTR by 100. Now first let's check out with how do we get the answer with PTR by 100? We all know that SI is equals to PTR by 100. So in this case, SI is given as 4,500. That is equals to P value is 15,000 into T is 3 years. R is what we need to calculate divided by 100. So what happens here? Double zero, double zero gets cancelled. 150 into 1, 150 into 3 is 450, 1 extra 0. So again, 3 into 1, 3 into 10, R is equals to 10. So that should be the answer as per previous question as well, right? Now, how else we can do that? Well, if you can calculate TIP, that is total interest percentage, it will be much easier for us rather than putting this entire equation and solving. Let me show that to you now. Now, you know that TIP can be calculated as R into T, right? Now, in this case, we don't have R. So, we cannot use this formula. So, what we have to do? See, recall that I also told you TIP, that is total interest percentage, is also same as profit percentage in profit and loss. Now, how do we calculate profit percentage in profit and loss? That is profit percent is equals to profit by cost price into 100. Now, if I change the terms, profit percent is nothing but TIP, that is equals to, instead of profit, I'll take interest divided by cost price is nothing but our principal into 100. So now if we calculate, I should get TIP equal to, what is the interest? 4,500 out of 15,000 into 100. So what happens here? I can cancel double zero and double zero. I can cancel one zero here, one zero here, 15 into one, 15 into three. So three into 10, that is 30 percent is a TIP. Now for three years, it is 30 percent means for one year, what should be the rate of interest? 30 by three, R is equals to 10 percent. Well, if you see, this is the simple equation what we are using to calculate a 10% rather than using PTR by 100 and cancelling everything this should be much easier method for us to watch more free videos download or learn application from play stores if you are benefited by these videos please like and share our videos and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our new videos that we upload regularly if you have any queries or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to reach out to me or any of my team members, you can always do that through any of the social media platforms and the links of which are already provided in the description below.